Hi friends, welcome to another video of Big Tech Talk. In today's video, we will learn how to create a queue in RabbitMQ and we'll try to create a exchange and we'll try to bind the queue with the exchange. At last, I will try to push some message to the exchange. So, let's start the video. I have already installed RabbitMQ on Docker in my previous video. Link to the video is in the description. I already have my RabbitMQ management web UI up and running. So, let's create an exchange. For that, I will go to Exchange tab and click on Add a new exchange. Over here, give a name to your exchange. So, I will give the name as Demo Exchange. I will leave rest of the things as default and click on Add Exchange. Ok, so we are able to create an exchange. Now, let's do an exchange binding. So, click on the exchange name we have just created and you will see it has a section named as binding which is empty right now. So, to bind this, we need an exchange or a queue name. So, let's create a queue. Click on the queue tab and then click on add a new queue. Over here, we have few options to choose from queue type. I will choose classic and will set the durability as durable. If you set the queue as durable, then message can survive even after the server restart. Now, give a name to your queue. I will give the name as demo queue. And I will leave rest of the options by default and click on add queue. Now, let's go back to the exchange tab and bind our queue to the exchange. So, click on exchange which we have created. Now, over here, give your queue name and then click on bind. And our binding is done. As you can see over here, our exchange is bind to our queue. Now, let's publish a message to our exchange and see if it is being taken by our queue. So, click on publish message and over here, I am not providing any routing key, but I am just writing a message as Hi from RabbitMQ Web UI. And click on publish. And we have our pop up notification saying as message is published. Now, let's go to queue tab. And in our queue, you can see a total of one message. If you want to view the message, then click on the queue and scroll down and click on get message and then click on get message button and this is our message now let's try to purge the message by clicking on purge and then click on purge message it will drop the message from the queue and we have a pop up notification which says that our message is purged. So, if I scroll up and we can see there is no message. And at last, if we want to delete the queue, then scroll down and click on delete queue. I will not remove the queue as I will use the same queue for the next video. So friends, we have reached to end of our today's video. If you have any question, let me know in the comment section. Do hit the like button and subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.